for a story this morning. Good to see you all this morning. How are you? Are you good? You're tired? You're even tireder? <laughs> yeah. You were sleeping already this morning? Wow. I thought it only it took at least till I started talking. <laughs> anyway, I have a story to tell you this morning and yeah, probably in the desert. It's, this, it's this, another story that starts with that cloth that we know so well, the place called the Holy Land, the place where Jesus was born and lived and taught people. And this story, this story isn't about Jesus. This story is a, is a, a story that Jesus told people when he was standing one day amongst a big crowd, way bigger than the crowd that's here. And he told this story, and so I wanted to share it with you because I think it's a really, really cool story. And so it starts with a very, very rich man, a father, Uh, he wasn't the king, but he, was, he had lots of money, and he had a big piece of property. He had a big house, house. And he had two sons. The older son was grumpy all the time. And we think he was grumpy because being the older son, he had to take over the family business. So it didn't matter what he wanted to do with his life, he had to take over the work that his father did. And that's probably why he was grumpy. And then there was another son who was a little bit younger, and he wasn't grumpy, but he wasn't happy. Well, they should be the same size. Anyway. Um, he, he wasn't happy. He uh, just felt he wanted to do something different with his life. And so he decides that he, he goes to his father and he says, um, I would like you to give me a bunch of money so that I can go and explore the world. And his father says, okay. And so, he gives him a whole chest full of money. Oops. Did I do that? And so, he, he gives him the money and, and he leaves. And he goes, he, he goes to one of the cities nearby. And... He gets there and he thinks, okay, what do I need to make me happy? I know, I want to get a really nice apartment. So, he finds a really nice apartment and he takes a bunch of his money to pay for it and moves into his apartment, and, but he's still not happy. So he thinks, I know, I know, I need to buy really nice clothes. And so he goes out and he buys wow. some really nice <laughs> clothes. And that takes more of his money. But he's still not happy. And so then he thinks, well, maybe what I need is really expensive jewelry. So, so he went and he bought some gold jewelry. And and it took more of his money. But he still wasn't happy. And so then he thought, well, maybe what I need to do is to throw 
<coughs> big party. And so we invited all the rich people from the city, and they danced, and they ate, and they drank lots of stuff, and it cost him lots of money. And all he had was a messy apartment, and he still wasn't happy. What? And all his money was gone. What? He was completely broke. And so his friends left him. And then he couldn't pay his rent, so he lost his apartment. And so then he was out in the street, he had no money, and to make, them out, make things worse, all of a sudden there was a famine, which means that none of the crops grew, and everybody was hungry. There was no food. The only way you had food is if you had lots of money, because like a loaf of bread went from, from 25 cents to $25 for a loaf of bread. And so he had to sell his, his jewelry, to eat, and then he had to sell his fancy clothes, and he was left with nothing. No money, and he was hungry. So hungry that his stomach hurt. And he thought, what am I going to do? And he, he was so desperate to find something to do, he ran into this old man, and, and said, is there anything I can do for you just so that I can have something to eat? And the old man said, well, I look after pigs. So you can clean up after the pigs. And, uh, and if, if they leave anything, you can eat whatever they don't eat. And that's all he had. Ooh. Well, he's thinking about what he left. The big house, lots of food, nothing to worry about. And he's thinking, I wonder if I should go back. But something happened. When he saw everyone else was hungry, he said, I can't just go back because it's not fair. It's not fair that so many people have nothing and I could just have whatever I wanted. So he decides he's going to go back, but he's not going to go back as a son. He's going to go back and ask to work at the business so that he can make some money to feed himself. And so that's what he does. He makes the long trip back. And as he approaches, his father sees him and runs out to greet him. He's so excited that he's come home runs out to greet him, and, and uh, his son says, I'm back, but I don't want to come back like I was before. I just want to work for you. And his father says, that's stupid. You're not going to do that. In fact, I'm so glad that you're back that I'm going to give you a brand new, uh, beautiful coat and brand new shoes. And the son says, but no, that's not what I'm back for. He said, and the father said, I don't want to hear it. You're back and you're just going to come back into the family just like before. Well, the grumpy brother <coughs> sees his brother come back who's, who's wasted all this money and he's really grumpy now. <coughs> I wonder how the father feels when <coughs> this son that's been gone for so long comes home. Happy. Do you think he feels happy? No. no? Now, I, wonder, I wonder how the son feels when he's offered these expensive clothes and shoes. Do you think he's mad? Not sure? It's hard to know. I wonder what happened next. Think he might return it? 
and go back to the pigs? We don't know, because that's where Jesus ended the story. <laughs> There's no second part. The second part is for us to decide what would we do in that case. We're going to sing a song. We're going to sing a great song uh, that's, that's for dancing, too. So I hope that even though you're tired, you might have enough energy to, to dance a little bit. Do you think so? No. No? <laughs> You're going to make me dance all by myself? <laughs> My legs hurt. <laughs> Who is my mother? <laughs>